All right, we've got good news. Good news from a, an amazing country called heaven. We're excited about this meeting. Good to have our folks that are with us on the Facebook page. This is being recorded, Miss Robin. Got Calhoun, Georgia just stepped up to the plate. Awesome. The share has really paid off. We uh, had more than uh, 400 people register for this meeting. And uh, considering how Facebook uh, silences a lot of our content, that means our members really showed up and shared and uh, hopefully are as excited about what we discussed really at the end of last year. Um, we're, we're rolling out. We'll talk a little bit about that. Let, let me just say that um, just a little housekeeping. I'm going to do this on the front end. This meeting may go a while, um, but I've got good news for those of you who have um, talked with me in the past about how difficult it is to listen to long meetings when you're so busy. And I've got good news. The way we're restructuring this, uh, I think that you'll enjoy it. It comes with both pros and cons uh, because we'll be teaching our, our classes in very short lessons moving forward. Uh, we'll talk about that, but today's will be a little lengthy because we're in a transition. So if you have to leave early, don't fret, don't worry. If I say anything that's of interest and you have to part, and you want to hear more, I am recording it. Everybody that registered here in Zoom or has access to the main website will get this video so that you can listen to it as you have time. The things that we're going to talk about today, I think, are going to be a game changer. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff that need be covered. So I hope that those of you that can, you will spend a little time with me today. What we're talking about what we're really talking about here is, uh, I think, weightier, it's much weightier than we give the topic credit for. Uh, if you go turn on your TV right now, you're going to see diet, 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 diet. Everybody's trying to make money. Consumerism is in full play. Uh, we've been amongst that noise ourselves, uh, but um, that's that's not what, what we want to do moving forward. Uh, it's become the depth of the challenge that we're all up against has become uh, we've 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 become complacent and desensitized to what's really going on. We're talking about saving lives. I don't know anything more important. We just seen a whole world shut down for almost two years because folks said they were trying to save lives. So saving lives is of the utmost importance and we want to do that we want to save lives change lives prolong lives see people live happier lives there's no greater threat to the happiness and joy and the influence of the household of faith than obesity and food addiction there is no greater threat we want to see people's spiritual lives revived and then we all know, those of us who have a faith-based background, we all know when there's something between us and the Lord, our spirit suffers. For me, food addiction and obesity and even um, being a high-functioning alcoholic for a period of my life was between me and the Lord. And we don't want anything between us and the Lord. So we want to see people's spirits be revived. We want to see people's belief in themselves be revived. We want to see relationships better. Uh, we want to see folks move a little closer to the Lord. We want to see your physical body transformed. There's just no greater mission. Uh, I see some folks saying I'm breaking up. Can everybody hear me? It's going to be the mess up on the mic thing. I can do the handheld one, but, oh, it's the batteries. The batteries are going dead again. It looked like they were full power. Bear with me.
Glad we've got some folks looking out for me. My battery pack said it was full, but I guess it wasn't. It all of a sudden died. Can y'all hear me now? All right. No, nobody's missed anything. I'm sorry, Miss Polly. I wish I knew how to get you into Zoom. I can't. Hang, hang tight with us on Facebook, if you will. We'll have to figure out that issue later. Uh, but sorry about that, Miss Polly. Hang, hang tight with us on, on, in Facebook. We'll try to get you in Zoom next time. But anyway, back, back to those comments. This is a serious thing, and, and I feel like because it's such a mass problem, it isn't taken as seriously as it should be. So without further ado, let me digress a moment and introduce myself to the audience. I'm Travis Martin. Uh, I've been trying my best in my own weak way to coach uh, weight loss and wellness for 20 years. Uh, I started uh, this many years ago as a free ministry. We'll be talking about that a little bit. I won't go over my full story because that's going to be in some of the daily emails we send so that folks can really get to know us and get acquainted with us. Uh, but now we're back full circle. Uh, we are moving forward as a ministry, uh, a real ministry. We're trying to um, legally restructure and we're excited about it. And we're going to talk a little bit about that journey, especially for the benefit of our existing members who have been such good stewards of the program. Uh, so some of this to folks that are non-members that just come to hear the nutrition part, uh, you, you may not really uh, be into that part, but if you'll bear with me, uh, this next hour or so, uh, you're going to have in your hands a very life-changing program uh, that I feel like uh, is unrivaled, uh, unrivaled uh, with what we offer. Uh, but as we go forward, I want to also go on and get you all, in case you have to leave early, in case you have questions that we don't get to answering, I want you to write a couple of things down. Has everybody got pen and paper? Pen and paper or notepad on your computer. Go ahead and do the following for me. Write down my email address. Sorry, I, I write like it looks like chicken scratch. Travis Jack, let's do this on the front end in case somebody uh, leaves lost. Travis Jack777 at gmail.com. Travis Jack777 at gmail.com. Next, info at myshaboleth.com. Info at myshaboleth.com. That way, if you miss something, you can be sure that you get the help that you need. And what I would suggest first is emailing info at myshaboleth.com. And then if you still can't get the help you need, because we don't know what's coming. We don't know if we're going to have five people join or 5,000 join. So get your help at info at myshaboleth.com. We have a dedicated group of team members that are amazing that they feel just as called to the ministry as I do, and they want to help you because this is serious business. Saving a life and prolonging a life and seeing happier and healthier people is serious business. So we want you to get the help you need. We don't ever want you to be shy about trying to get the help you need. So there's your two points of contact as more becomes clear in the proceeding days and more will become clear in the proceeding days uh, just so that i can kind of keep your interest for a little while what we're talking about is not a gimmick uh, and it's not just a trial uh, we're going to give you an amazing amazing and free weight loss and wellness program that we know because it's free many people will devalue it and never do their best with it. That's okay. Uh, as the Holy Spirit spoke to me the other night in my secret place, and I said, I love you, Jesus. Will you help me? And I had been putting this off for a long time, and I heard in my spirit, do you love me? And I said, you know I love you. Sound familiar? And it was said to me, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. 
So I'm going to do my best to feed the people of God an amazing nutritional education, amazing behavior modification techniques, and more. Up here on the board, once this thing starts on Monday, on Monday, the folks that join this new Shibboleth Lifestyle Program, they're going to get daily education in the form of daily emails. These emails are going to be broken down into five minute or less lessons. Now, if I go six or seven minutes, don't anybody get mad at me, but they're going to be short five minute lessons. And the topics will be behavior modification, nutritional education, sometimes and ra rarely, but sometimes the benefits of vitamins and minerals to fill nutri nutrient gaps, exercise nutrition for those that are trying to build muscle and not just lose fat. And in most of the emails, I'm going to include our origin story so that folks aren't perplexed about who we are and what we are. Uh, we've heard the call and the cry for many years for shorter lessons. And one of the benefits of that is uh, people will actually engage with that video, that content, because it's short. One of the cons of that is we're not a diet. The first three letters of the word diet spell die. Anything we start with and can't stick with forever is a waste of our time. And I am a firm believer that if you take someone with a willing and wanting heart and you give them a meal plan, but then you teach them why that meal plan works, that there'll be less frustration and they'll make better decisions. So to explain how food breaks down in one's body and how you get into efficient fat burning, to explain that, it takes more than five minutes. So today, what we're going to begin with is teaching people how to put together a meal plan. Then, by day by day, as you engage with these short lessons, you're going to learn why we've given you such meal plan, and you're going to learn how food can work for you instead of against you. It's going to be amazing if you'll give it time. Another thing is you're going to need unparalleled support. We're going to have an amazing support group where we give our all. Now, because we're transitioning to a ministry, it may end up being just me in that support group. I expect we're going to have a lot of good-hearted team members stay with us, and we're going to do our best to raise enough money to pay them. But that, if it gets down to just me, we're going to have a support group where myself and my team helps anybody with a willing and wanting heart in that support group. We're going to also have many weekly live support meetings hosted by myself so that if you're missing something in translation, uh, if you've hit a wall and you don't understand why, if the scales aren't rewarding you, or you have a question about a certain food or whatever it is, there's going to be enough daytime and evening meetings with me, yours truly, to get those questions answered so that you can keep moving forward in your journey. And I'm structuring this so that no, no reasonable person can say that they haven't been given the education, the tools, the support, the love, the care for free. I'm going to do my best to blow you away with love, support, and education. And I'm going to make it so, this is a brass comment, but I'm going to make it so that the only folks that can deny the power of what God has put together here will be very unreasonable people that just really do not want to lose weight. Everything that you need is going to come from your local grocery store. There will also be some videos as the days go by where you see me in the grocery store showing you 
how I pick out my foods. I'm going to be giving you my heart. I'm going to let my heart bleed in front of you and for you. Today, I'm going to go over a little bit of our wine because you will have to cultivate a fantastic why too. Your why has to be much greater than temptation in order for you to be successful. So I'm going to share with you my why and a little bit of my story, and hopefully it will soon yield to you having your own why and your own story so that you'll pick up these amazing tools that I'm going to be giving you and you will use them to transform your life and give God the glory that God so richly deserves. There's going to be um, some shaky days ahead of us because I will be honest with all of the members, I wasn't ready to do this. Uh, I wasn't ready. I always wanted to get back to it, but I wasn't ready. And I don't know how the Lord talks with uh, you all, um, but the Lord talks with me. How do you know when the Lord's talking to you? Well, for me, if the Lord is trying to get me to do something, that decision will give me peace before I make it, peace when I make it, and peace after I make the decision. And the scriptures will back it up. And that's how I make my decisions and believe that the Lord is with me. I don't always make good decisions because sometimes those decisions are mine. But when the Lord speaks to me and gives me something to do and the scripture backs it up, even if it's fearful and I have peace before, during and after, I know it's of the Lord and I know that we will be blessed. It may not be the way I think, but we will be blessed. And I spent several nights over the last couple of weeks thinking I had insomnia or was losing my mind. And at 1.30, 2 a.m., the Lord would call me to my secret place outside, and I would go out there, and I would cry my eyes out, and I would talk to the Lord. And the Lord instructed me on what to do. And I said, but I don't know how I'll make it. Let me, let me do this and do that, and then I'll do that. Then I'll do the free ministry thing, Lord. And then I would jockey with it a few days, and I wouldn't be able to sleep. And I'd go outside, and I'd read, and I'd pray in the middle of the night and not even go to bed and walk and get all those steps while I'm talking to the Lord in the middle of the night and et cetera. And the Lord said, you, you spoke to my spirit and said, faith over fear. And I said, well, I got to get some things lined up. I got to get some things ready. And then this scripture come to me. I said, cause you know, I don't want to be a laughing stock again, Lord, to the people of God. But then this scripture come, come to me. This is in Luke chapter 9. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, take nothing for your journey, neither staves nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house you enter into, there abide and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. So I was left without excuse. I don't have the resources to do what I'm doing. I don't know how we're going to do what we're doing, but I'm jumping and I'm going to do what God's bid me to do because I believe that lives are at stake. And I know a lot of good is going to come out of this program. And uh, I just ask the following. I ask for nothing other than that if you are successful with these tools and resources, that you give God the praise that God so richly deserves. That's all I ask of you. I want to thank in advance before we get into this, I want to thank all of our current partners and sponsors. I think uh, we've got a little more than 30 partners right now uh, that are helping our ministry with anything from $5 a month to $100 a month. And we really want to thank you. Uh, we would not be able to even attempt to do what we're doing uh, without your help. 
Sasha and I have borrowed money to live off of for the next months while we try our best to give our all to what the Lord has been trying to get us to do for several years that we lack the courage to do. So I hope that y'all will pray for us uh, as we embark uh, down this journey. We did not want to do a free trial or, uh, you know, there will be levels to it, right? We'll have perks for our supporters, for our current members uh, that want to continue going with us. But the tip of the sword will now be a free program to every willing and wanting heart. Uh, without me, um, without without me uh, trying to measure my time with people or anything like that, we just want to give you our all in all. Okay, so y'all pray for us as we go forward here. I've put my life into this, and it's terrifying to think that we might lose it, and I might be a, I might not be able to do it full time anymore. Uh, but I'm just going to trust the Lord. Uh, I'm going to put faith over fear so let's get started let's start teaching a program here so let me tell you first off let me give you a little of my story and then we're going to get into the food aspects of this program so my why started very uh goes back to when i was really young um when i was growing up when i look back at old pictures i never was fat I became what they call fat later, but I was always shy. I was always chunky. My dad was always wanting me to play contact sports, but I didn't like contact sports back then. I was my, I was a mama's boy, soft, gentle, you know, and uh, I just didn't have it in me to be a rough houser. I wasn't a normal boy. Uh, I preferred to be alone when I was a kid. Or actually, some of you brothers are going to say, I don't believe I told that. I preferred to hang out with the girls. I found, not for that reason. This was before puberty. I just seemed to have more in common with them. I just enjo- I didn't enjoy a lot of things uh, that a young boy would enjoy. And I was very tenderhearted, uh, very shy, backwards, tenderhearted. And my first, um, I would say my first, reason would come you know I would talk about the reason that I wanted to change later but it really started when I was young because y'all remember in uh, PE back in those days I don't think they do this anymore but in PE if you played basketball they would separate the teams shirts and skins does it does anybody recall those days it's the boys anyway well I always got selected for the skins team Martin, get that shirt off. I'd take that shirt off, and I had this cotton white fluffy skin. I was narrow at the chest, wide at the waist. I looked like a little chunky version of E.T. And the bullying began. The bullying began. Uh, The poking fun at me began. Uh, Even uh, the P.E. coach would make me run around the gym and call me Tubby. And it was, it really affected my self-confidence and self-esteem. Now, I'm going to go back and forth a little bit. This is a reason that part of our free ministry is going to be an amazing kids program. I never want anyone to go through what I went through as a kid. Never, I never want to see a young man or a girl have to go through that again because it would have gone to affect me the rest of my life. So. That's when my issues began. Uh, Moving forward, I would uh, end up gaining a little weight. I would end up having high blood pressure. I went on my first blood pressure medication when I was 15. I would stay on that blood pressure medication until I was 30. After I got married, I ballooned up over 300 pounds and I was on high blood pressure medicine, high cholesterol medicine, type two diabetes medication, acid reflux medication, prescribed medications for manic depression and other medications. My life was falling apart and I had no self-confidence, no self-esteem. I had so many physical problems, I would routinely have to be in the doctor's office. 
on one particular day, the doctor, Dr. Brad Ward, God rest his soul, he put me on that treadmill, you know, to check my heart, the condition of my heart out. And this stress test revealed that I had the cardiovascular health of a 60-year-old by the time that I ended up over 300 pounds. And also my esophagus was deteriorating due to a decade of acid reflux, which really was brought on by many years of me being a closet, closet bulimic. So God took all this, this time in my life, and used it as a catalyst to help me get and become in charge of my physical health. Not my spiritual health yet, but my physical health. I had two children at that time. I've got, we've got a blended family. We've got five between us. But, but at that time, I had two and would have another one, my son Tristan. And things weren't going well. And Dr. Brad Ward looked me in my face, who'd been my doctor since I was a little kid, and said, Travis, if you don't do something, because of all your genetic predispositions and how you're living and how you're eating, you are never going to see your children grow up. And by that time, I had been a terrible leader of the home. Uh, I didn't have a right relationship with myself or food. And that then affects all of your other relationships. And it certainly affected my relationship with my first wife. And I left the doctor's office that day and I worked for a company uh, where you didn't have smartphones back then, but mobile phones were becoming a thing. I wore a pager and I had a bag phone. I had one of the first bag phones. Y'all remember those bag phones? And Dr. Ward had uh, scheduled me an appointment at Redmond Hospital to go and be checked out. My heart checked out, my esophagus checked out, and he told me that, he'd give me that bad news, and I felt like a bad husband, a bad father, and I pulled over on the side of the road. I've always been one until recently to go to the Lord when I got in trouble. I never gave until recently. I never got up and gave God the first fruits of my day. I never really bathed my life and self in grace. Back then it was more I would go to the Lord as I viewed, you know, a stern father, just a more pure version of my earthly dad in some respects. I would go to God when I got in trouble. I pulled over on the side of the road over in Taylorsville, Georgia. And I don't know why it sounds a little goofy, but I opened the door and I wanted to kneel down And I put one leg out of my car, kept one leg in in case if a car come up on one of those country roads, I could jump back in. And I was boohooing. And I began to pray, God help me. Now, what I didn't tell you, I'd called on the back phone my mama, who she's probably here. But I had called her and I said, Mama, Dr. Ward says I'm going to die if I don't do something. And she said, son, you're a grown man. You've got to take control of your life. You've got to take responsibility for it. And I said to my mom, I said, no, this is your fault. It was all that fried chicken, fried okra, fried squash, all that stuff you would feed me, all that popcorn, all the stuff you'd feed me. And the rice diet my wife put me on and beef roni, macaroni, rice roni, everything. It's y'all's fault. It's your big bone genetics. And mama would usually patronize me, but for some reason this day, she said, Travis, I got to go. And she hung up on me. Take responsibility for yourself. So that's when I pulled over and I started praying. And I said, God, you got to help me. I've gone as far as I can go. Here's all my problems and I don't know how to fix it. I've done every diet they've told me. I just talked to somebody uh, today that said that nothing works for them. Nothing works for them. Do you know how hard it is to be truthful with somebody? When somebody says nothing works for them, I know they know in their own heart the truth. And that's not the truth. It's that they aren't working. They aren't working at it. They aren't doing their best. They don't have a big enough why. There's as many ways to lose weight as people can find to lose weight. 
Now, do I think Shibboleth is the best way to lose weight and the most powerful and the most practical, sustainable, and fun? Yes. There's a lot of ways to lose weight. But at that time, I felt like this lady I talked to today, I said, nothing works. Nothing works. But when God got a hold of me that day, just like here recently with transitioning to a free ministry, when God got a hold of me that day and I got in that place where I had a broken heart and a contrite spirit, I know there's some people of God here that know what I mean. I mean, I fell on the rock and the rock lifted me. And I got up and I wanted to change. And the next few days, I changed so much that people in my life thought now I had bipolar disorder because all I did was taught nutrition, weight loss, wellness, and God. They said, that, that stuff's going to drive you tra tra crazy, Travis. I was over 300 pounds, and I'm finally starting to get hold of my life, and people are telling me I'm crazy. It's funny to me that over 300 pounds, nobody ever told me that I was sick. Nobody ever told me I looked sick, except for my doctor. No, but no, they said, you're fine. You look fine. And then when I would start losing weight, I lost 44 pounds in my first six weeks. And then people started saying, God, Travis, you look sick. I find that so funny. How many of you here that are my members, our members, have been through that? Nobody told you you, you looked unhealthy when you were overweight. Now you're losing weight and you're happier and healthier. And they're telling you you look sick. You need to stop losing weight. People are absolutely crazy. But back to the story. So I had a background because of my obsession with this since the, the, fir the first money I made on a paycheck making $3.35 an hour, I subscribed to Muscle and Fitness. I've taken certification course after certification course. I just never could put it together because I was leaving the Bible out. I was leaving God's Word out. So after that faithful day of prayer, I opened my Bible and I opened to the third chapter of Revelation where it talked about opening doors and closing doors and how when God shuts a door, it's shut. When God opens a door, it's open, and nobody can shut it. And I felt in my spirit God was opening a door for me, and boy, did he. The next thing I read was, I wish thou were cold or hot, but thou art lukewarm. Therefore, I spew thee out of my mouth. And it was like God plugged something into me and said, that's it. That's what I've been missing. Today is the day of salvation. There's no yesterday. There's no tomorrow. There's only today. And here's what I had been doing wrong. Y'all bear with me if you're new. This will be worth your time if you'll stick with me. So let's take, it a, let's take a look at a weight chart, okay? So I had always been living the following. I would tell people, I'm not a glutton. Why am I gaining weight? Sure, after church, I'll go eat at the Mexican restaurant, have too many chips and feel stuffed, but I don't do that every day. So my lifestyle was a series of a lot of kind of okay days. I didn't really eat right, but I didn't really eat wrong. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I kind of measured my calories. I wasn't a glutton or a hog every day. Why am I gaining all this weight? But then those two, three days a week, I would just hog trough it. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I'd, I'd hog trough it. Boy, would I hog trough it too. I'd hog trough it. And then what happened, my weight would go up. And then I'd feel terrible. I would feel guilty. I would feel regretful. All of my conditions would act up. And then I'd do okay a few days. I always worked back in those days, two jobs most of the time. Sometimes I had to do more. I had to pick up other supplemental income. So it wasn't like I was lazy or slothful. And then boom, I, I would have those weekend hog trough days, maybe a day during the week. And then my weight just kept going up. What I didn't realize 
was that every day, whether a little bit or whether a lot, I was provoking an insulin response. So I, I got to studying. What is insulin? Insulin, listen carefully. You might want to take notes. I'm not going to, I got so much to put on the board. I'm not going to put this on the board. Insulin is a growth hormone. It is a fat storage hormone. And thank God for it, because the way we eat in this culture, if it wasn't for insulin, after every meal of processed food, we would go into a diabetic coma and die. And I also had a lifestyle where I went to church on Wednesday. I was in revivals all summer. I went to church on Sunday. And what do the people of God want to do more than anything else? Can I get somebody to tell me? What do the people of God want to do? Sometimes they want the preacher to cut off a good sermon so they can get where? To the cracker barrel. My lifestyle was no different. So it was just this sitting and I'm like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm miserable. To the point, it's like, I guess I'll just take medications the rest of my life. And, you know, that's just how it's going to be for me. But that day, I wish that were cold or hot, but that were lukewarm. I thought, that's it. That's it. The Bible says, whatever I do, whether I eat, whether I drink, I should do it all unto God. So I'm not living my days unto God. So I'm going to come up with daily disciplines that control the fat bus, insulin. It's a fat storage hormone. It elevates your appetite. It destroys mitochondria. It reduces lifespan. I can't have this in my bloodstream every day and be healthy. It causes cancer growth. I got to slow this insulin thing down. So I said, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up with daily disciplines that I call perfect days. People have been trying to get me to change that terminology for 20 years. You can't be perfect. The Bible says, be thou perfect because your Father in heaven is also perfect. But there's also grace. So I said, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have perfect days that follow some set disciplines. And if I so much as lick the cheese dust off a of Dorito, I'm going to call that a holiday. And then I did the math. I looked at the cal uh, I looked at a, a given week and a month, and I thought, well, I got to operate in a calorie deficit, and I've got to control insulin. So in order to lose weight, how many holidays do I get per month to eat whatever I want, y'all? Whatever I want. As little or as much as I want of whatever I want. The number of man, six. And once you get into maintenance, how many do you get, everybody? If this ain't enough for you, then you're not ready. You need to go. You need to don't let me waste another minute of your time. Because you do not, you are not ready to lose weight if you think 12 days a month. Once you reach your maintenance level, if you don't think almost half your month is enough for you to hog trough it, while the rest of your days follow some set daily disciplines that control insulin, you are not ready. You need to come back when you're ready or find you, what you need to do is enjoy your food. The stuff that's killing you, you aren't even enjoying because you feel guilty and regretful every time you do it. It's a compulsion and a habit now. But what we're doing here is we're giving you, we're giving you a system that's practical, sustainable, and fun. And if you've even got a pulse and you desire to lose weight, you can do this. So my other days had to be perfect. How am I going to control insulin with some daily disciplines? Number one, what you're going to learn in these classes is every day. You've got to drink your water, half a gallon to a gallon of water a day, minimally a half a gallon. Water in, fat out. Water in, poop out. If the waste isn't coming out, the weight's not coming off. So we got to drink our water. Then next, we've got a journal. If I bite it, I write it. If I hog it, I log it. People that, do, that have a food addiction problem, 
and then do not journal. They lose weight while they're high as a kite, motivated, inspired, but then they get complacent. And if they don't have an accountability partner like a journal, they always gain their weight back. You must journal. It takes three minutes or less per day to journal your food. Next, combinations. Powerful, powerful food combinations. These powerful food combinations, they act like exercise on a plate and they control insulin. So when I put certain foods together, I'm controlling insulin, I'm losing weight. Example, if I have a steak and a potato together on a perfect day, I can have that on a holiday and have anything. But on my perfect days, I can't have a steak and a potato because the potato elevates my blood sugar. My pancreas releases the fat bus, insulin. The fat bus grabs the steak fat and shuttles it into my fat cells. Not good. If I'm craving a potato, I've got to put it with a lean protein like a chicken breast that's prepared the right way and then put it with a category two fibrous vegetable. Now, for those of you that haven't been through our fast track system and don't plan on going through our fast track system, then this sounds confusing, but let me digress for a minute so that you understand how I'm going to be teaching you the program. When you walk away today with, some meal, with a meal plan, on Monday, if you enroll in the program, you're going to start getting these short video lessons where I teach you how to make food work for you instead of it working against you. You're going to learn how to eat a potato and still lose weight. You're going to learn how to eat watermelon and still lose weight. You're going to learn how to eat whatever you want, pizza, mac and cheese, ice cream, whatever you want and still lose weight. And I'm gonna teach you all this in these videos, but what you're gonna to have to do if you wanna get the most out of this program is for at least 30 days, at least 30 days, you have to commit to watching these short videos for just 30 days. Because what's going to happen is you're going to get up one day. Let's say, for example, let me show you what happens. Let me digress here. Here's what happens. You get started on Monday. And I tell you, don't weigh but once a week. You can't help yourself, though, because you started something and you expect all the weight to be gone by when, y'all? You want all that weight gone by the next day. But we hadn't put forth, it's a human condition. We hadn't put forth any effort. We've been eating like a hog and the devil for years, and we want all that weight gone with our first effort and overnight. So we weigh in, and let's say we weigh 200 pounds. And then on Tuesday morning after Monday, you had a great day, perfect day. You feel better. You're like, I can do this forever. I hope I'm losing weight. And then you get on the scales the next day, and you look, and you go, I'm down five pounds in a day. Oh my goodness. And then you do the math. You go five pounds in a day, five pounds times 365 days. Oh my goodness. I'm going to lose 2000 pounds this year. This is awesome. Now what happens if somebody isn't there with you during the darkness? When on Thursday, you're, you're excited. You, lost, you done lost in three days. You done lost seven pounds. And then on Thursday, you weigh in and you're up a pound. For a woman, maybe it's that time of month. For a guy, maybe he's got holding on to a little water weight due to inflammation. And that person doesn't understand this is just the body doing its normal thing. If you don't have somebody on that day telling you, now look, here's what's going to happen. Here's why it's going to happen. But if you do this, it's going to come right back off. If you don't have that, it's easy to throw your hands up in the air and say, forget it. This ain't going to work either. Can I get a witness? Huh? Am I making this stuff up? Some of y'all have experienced this. But if you persist and you do it unto the Lord and you let this little disciple of Jesus, if you let him help you and even through the dark days you keep pressing in, 
You come to the support classes and get the support you need. In 30 days, some of you are going to lose 20, even 30 pounds. And then we'll keep going after that until we reach maintenance. We've got to remap the brain. That's why this word's up here, behavior modification. Just the food, that won't do it. We've also got to modify our behaviors. So I'm going to be teaching you combinations that control insulin. And there's thousands of meal combinations that come from your local grocery store that will control insulin and set you up for success. But obviously, what people get frustrated with, I can't teach you food combining in one five-minute lesson. This is going to require a series of lessons. Portions. Portions. We have to operate in a calorie deficit and we have to control insulin. So we have a portion rule that we're going to be teaching. Now, some of you need to go on and write this down. You'll see some of the resources we put together. And because we jumped out there and did what the Lord told us to do, we jumped off the ledge and now we got to grow wings on the way down. You want to write this? This will become more clear by the day. But we want you to start your journey off in a 24-hour period in a day, having three or less eating episodes a day. Breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, dinner for the Holy Spirit. And on your perfect days, we want you to control your portion on a portion control plate that's six to eight inches wide or put your food that's combined properly under your two hands. We're going to go over all this. It's going to be a beautiful thing, okay? Lastly, your timing. You got to learn your timing rule, uh, which is we do our best to spread our meals out four to six hours, giving our meals time to get through the first phase and a half of digestion. So when I live these daily disciplines, when I have two of these perfect days in a row, I then get in efficient fat burning mode. All right. This is how much space a pound of fat takes up on the body. There are 3,500 extra calories stored in this one pound of fat. And until I use them up, this, one, this, this pound of fat is not coming off my body. I've got to get in efficient fat burning status so that these stored calories can be converted to energy and used by my body. I was 100 plus pounds overweight. I had an additional 350,000. I had eaten 350,000 more calories than I needed because of my food addiction. And to reverse engineer that, I had to use up 350,000 extra calories. There is an efficient way to do that, and it's called preserving muscle and shifting your metabolism from a glycogen adapted burning metabolism, that is to say sugar adapted, to a fat adapted metabolism. Our system will do that, okay? Then we have our perfect days, and then when we choose to have a holiday, a day of great, whether it's a snack accident or we chose it, maybe it's an anniversary, taking the day off, we'll get during the weight loss phase, six holidays a month. And then in maintenance, your lifelong strategy, you'll get 12. But we got to learn how to have a perfect day. This is what I need. This is why I need you to watch those videos. The first thing that people ask, for, ask me for, let me, let me digress, let me put it this way. I get emails every week. Travis, I hear about your program. I don't have time to come to class. I don't have time to watch videos. Can you just give me a meal plan? You know how many times I've done that out of compassion and empathy? How many times do y'all think it worked? Zero. None. You've got to put it all together. The love, the support, the behavior modification, the education. And if I can, if you will give me 30 days of your very, very best effort, God will use this program 
for almost every one of you that's experiencing any of these difficulties, I can't make guarantees. You can ask our members if you don't believe me. You will lose weight, but you will reduce or eliminate medications. Your A1C will improve. You'll live with more joy. Watch this, another point. Watch this in the chat. It's in a setup, but we've got some great members here. How many of you that's participated in the program and you, you know what a perfect day is? You, some people don't. Y'all know what I mean? You talk to some people that say they're Shibboleth members and you get straight away, they're not really a member. They don't know the program. And that's okay. Everybody's got to do this on their own timetable. But how many of you, hey, great job, Dana's down 40 pounds in four months, y'all. How many of you, after a few perfect days, you're like, I actually feel fantastic. This is great. I'm happier. Why would I ever quit doing this? And then, for some unknown reason, you get complacent and you fall off the program. And then you're like, why did I quit? I felt so much better. Why do we quit? You're up against years of bad habits and compulsions. Now I want to stop there. And I want y'all to do something that it took me until even though I lost my weight, kept it off, I didn't have a right relationship with myself until I was 20. I up in order to get myself to do the program. Everybody say this with me. I am loving awareness. I am loving awareness. I love everything and everyone that I'm aware of. I love my body. I love my mind. I love my weaknesses. For my weaknesses are my glory, and Christ is my husband. Yeah. I know I'm biologically a male, but in the spirit, I'm not. I'm neither male nor female. And Christ Jesus is my beautiful husband. And he loves me so. Some of my male friends have been, ever since I got, I became born again, August 21st, 2021. They said, I don't know if I tell that. I don't care. He's my husband. I'm his bride. I'm his delight. He covers my weakness. He doesn't raise his voice at me. He thinks I'm beautiful. You think that beating yourself up allows you to do better. It does not. It, sometimes we need some, sometimes we need true talk. We need strong counsel, but we should never beat ourselves up because you'll end up thinking I'm a failure, throwing your hands up in there and just quit. This program is about you reconnecting with the Holy Spirit in the right way, bathing yourself in grace every day. If you slip and you have too many holidays, you life it off and say, husband Jesus, I know you still love me. Tomorrow's a new day. It's like I told Sasha today, I don't have a past. People keep trying to remind me of my past. Travis, do you remember when uh, Thrive Weight Loss went bankrupt? Travis, do you remember when you had to lay off 100 employees? Travis, do you remember when we found you uh, because you were trying to uh, wash away your pain with alcohol. Do you remember when we found you passed out with vomit all over you? I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't have a past. I have passed from death unto life, and I've got new eyes, and I've got a new husband, and he's helping me, and he wants to help everybody. He wants to love on you and help you, and you're going to fall. And you got to be, you got to discipline your body. But what we want this new journey to be about is you getting your mind, your body, and your spirit operating in sync together and then lining up and doing what the Holy Spirit tells you to do eating breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, and dinner for the Holy Spirit. And then our husband, Jesus allows us to take some days off. Ain't that good? Ain't that good? What, what are you going to take from me on this track? Travis, is this a no-carb program? No. Is this a low-pro? No. Is this hyper? No. 
you get it all. You get it. We're going to teach you how to eat whole foods that grow from the ground and foods that roam the earth on your perfect days. Combine them right. And hey, we're even going to teach you how to eat some of them lesser evils. You won't get your old moose track, Mayfield moose track ice cream, but you'll get Blue Bunny Sweet Freedom with the bunny tracks. So we're going to teach you how to do it all. We're going to meet you where you are. All right? I'm not going to take all your time up teaching the entire program to you today because that's what those lessons are for. Now, y'all are kind of like the Marines today. You're the first ones in. So, you know, y'all are going to have the roughest version of what we're doing because as God supplies the resources we need to make this better, it's going to get better and better and better. But I need y'all because I'll show you what I got for you here in a minute while I start teaching. Objective, objective today is how many people want to do this, by the way? How many of you want to do this, members or non-members? How many of you want to do this? Outstanding. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for these willing workers. Y'all want to go into the little vineyard and go to work with me, right? We're going to go in the little vineyard and we're going to go to work together. So since there's enough to go over this, and by the way, I didn't finish my story because believe it or not, people don't know this about me. I've, I've dealt, since I went bankrupt, went through divorce, had to disqualify myself from the ministry way before I went through divorce. In, in fact, well, let me put that back. I gave up pastoring churches because some folks in the church stole from me, and I lost heart with the church. Can I just come clean? Y'all know I'm a crybaby, right? I've never let it go, and I've done my family and myself a lot of harm. But I pastored two churches, and people needed jobs. I never could tell anybody no. And I hired a lot of, a lot of people that I loved, and they stole from me intellectually, monetarily, some family members, some church members, and and instead of focusing on the good church members that I pastored, I laser locked on the ones that hurt me and I left the church. And I want to tell all of you right now. When I did that, my life fell apart. My business went bankrupt after I did that. After I left the churches with hate in my heart, my life fell apart. I tried to talk myself into suicide for years, lost my business. The only reason I didn't commit suicide was because of my mama. I thought my kids would be better off because I still had some life insurance policies. But the only reason I couldn't do it was because of my mom. I thought I had never done anything good with my life. But that little weight loss program, which was wrong thinking, that's why I said earlier in this broadcast, what I said, that I lost weight and kept it off physically, but I wasn't right spiritually. I had head religion. I was pastoring churches with head religion, not heart religion. I got heart religion August 21st, 2000. 21. 
And I've kept such hate in my heart for my failings and for how people did me, I couldn't heal. What does this have to do with weight loss? It has everything to do with weight loss because if one doesn't have self-esteem and self-confidence, even after they lose the weight, they carry that on for a while. So how did I punish people that hurt me? I hurt myself. I left the churches. I left church people. I turned to alcohol. I tried to become a more stern person, mean person, because I felt that the reason I was ran over and taken advantage of was because I wasn't stern. I wasn't a man's man. And I don't know why I'm telling you this today. I've just always been that way, an open book. And now what I want to do is dedicate my life to God and doing what God has called me to do. And that has helped people like me that <clears throat> even though the world doesn't know it, inside their head and heart, they hate themselves. And they think God hates them too. They have fear-based head religion. And now I've got faith-based heart religion. And the thing that I have experienced, and the reason I didn't go free with our ministry a long time ago, I always knew it would explode when I did this. And I can't stand to feel inadequate. And I knew if we ever did this, that I, would go, I was going to be in many, many lives, involved in many lives, because this program is powerful. And that every inadequacy that I have is going to be pointed out. And I may not be ready, but since I found Christ and grace, all I need is my husband, Jesus, and to do what he bids me to do because he's going to put a hedge of protection around me. I say all that not to glorify myself, but I say it for those of you here that are hurting. The smart people, the professionals, the intellectuals, the doctors, the dietitians, all the wise people, I'm not going to be their cup of tea, and I'm prepared now for that. And I've also forgiven everybody that took advantage of me and stole from me. That's between them and the Lord. Because I also went on and done wrong. I hurt my children, hurt my first wife, hurt myself, hurt the churches that love me so much, giving them up when it was not time to give them up. I've suffered. But Jesus has told me that my suffering is over. And I'm excited. I'm really excited. And I don't say it to glorify me. It is my testimony. We overcome by our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. And this is my testimony in part today. And I say it to touch other people, male or female. I don't care what your gender is. I don't care what your sexuality is. I don't care what you've been through. Travis loves you. Travis loves you and does not judge you because Christ has showed me how to stop judging, how to stop judging myself. Now I can stop judging you. And if you'll let me, outside of the Holy Spirit, I'll be the best friend you ever had. Now that doesn't mean that I can be all things to all people. But if there's a Travis in spirit out there, I am well qualified after 20 years of doing this. I started this thing when I had black hair and a head full of it, and now I got no hair. I'm well qualified to help you reach your wellness goals. But y'all, it's going to take some real hard work on your part. The hard work is not eating these great tasting foods. That's not the hard part. We eat great tasting foods. That's why I tell people weight loss is easy. Weight loss is easy. What's hard about it is this. 
If we don't get up every single day and die out to the love and practices of this world, and we don't put this mind that was also in Christ Jesus in our mind, we cannot be successful long term. So I'm hoping that this is an altar call. I'm hoping that this is an altar call to all to come and let's give even our eating behaviors back to Jesus. So here's what we've put together with you, and I know that it's not everything you deserve yet. As the people of God, y'all deserve more than I'm able to give you today. But in coming days, I'm going to strive and work very hard to give you more and more of what you deserve. And I'll do my best not to ask anything in return. God has told me that He will put it on the hearts and minds of the ones He has chosen to help this ministry. And they always have. And I suspect they always will. So let's take a look at what we have put together for you now. And I'm sorry I turned into a crybaby. I have always been that way. And even when I say I'm not saying this and I'm not saying that, I can't help it. <laughs> it's just who I am. So let me get this pulled up for you. I'm going to go to Shibboleth Lifestyle. And I, what I meant to say earlier Y'all will have to bear with me in coming weeks because I have, even though people think I'm not shy because of my ability to speak to groups, when it comes to in-person meetings and small groups, that's why I moved where I didn't know anyone because I have a lot of anxiety. And for a while, I would turn to things I ought not turn to to deal with depression and anxiety. And this camera has helped me because I don't have to be in person. But I'm going to work through that so that I can get back out there as this thing grows and meet people in person again. But I, I ask, I did, I'm having to be honest about uh, some of the things that I have dealt with. And I know that the Lord is going to help me overcome that anxiety of being around people or growing Shibboleth, et cetera. All right, so I'll hush. I'll try to get off that because y'all come here for some good stuff. All right, so let me get this pulled up. ShibolaLifestyle.com. Did y'all were y'all able to go there? This is what you should see. Thank y'all for the kind comments. I appreciate it. You may not have such kind ones in a few days. <laughs> okay, so this is what we put together as we do a lot of work on the back end. We can register here. And then it will take you here. Let me get a sip of this spark. So here's where we'll start finding all of our tools and resources. Now, my great members, our Shibboleth members that already have a username and password, you'll be able to log in as normal and click on the challenge tab. So let me click that. I believe that you suggested that. So now they should take a look there. And then if they register right after they click register here take them they, all they have to do is set up a username and password and save it and they'll be in set up their username and password and they'll be in that's the great sasha right to it. she's I'll she's in there working with developers now so see what we needed julie everybody we needed about a month or two months to prepare for this more but the lord said no so maybe he wanted me to feel vulnerable i'm not sure so here we are, and you will see the free community challenge. Okay, our members that have been members, and by the way, I don't know when it will happen, but at some point, enrollment 
will be closed. There'll be open periods of enrollment so we can help people and then closed periods of enrollment. Right now it's open enrollment. You've got a free 30 day community challenge. If you are not a Shabbat member, this is all you will see. If you are a member, you will see all the challenges that we run all the time. You click on, you, you will click accept. And then it's going to ask you, she's already put me in here, but it's going to ask you for two photos. Ding, ding, ding. These are meant to be before photos. These are meant to be before photos, before pictures. Some are not going to feel comfortable putting their before pictures in. I think it's a vital part of sincere transformation. But for those of you that aren't comfortable enough with the Shibboleth ministry and mission, this is the way the system works. So you have to put in pictures, but you could just do some screenshot of a tree or flowers or whatever. You don't have to put in your physical body pictures. Now, what I wish people would do is wear some tight clothing, take before picture, the two pictures, load them into the system so that they can see how far one can go in only 30 days. It's really quite striking, uh, a 30-day transformation is if somebody does their best. And by the way, you can do anything for 30 days. Now, once you get in here, you'll see some resources. You'll see that you can get text notifications from me. I use those text notifications right before I go live. Now, part of this is going to be me hosting several meetings per week for folks that are going through this protocol to have an opportunity to come in a smaller group session and ask me questions so I can keep you moving forward with my knowledge of nutrition based upon your situation and your goals. There's also going to be a Shibboleth Lifestyle Facebook group where if it's not time for a meeting, you can go to the group and ask your question and we'll get you the answers that you need. You can weigh as much or as little as you want to, but at least weigh at the beginning of the 30-day challenge and at the end of the 30-day challenge. So you can set your weight here. Then you have your challenge resources. This is going to be our grocery list whereby we are all going to work through a meal plan in just a moment. So you're going to have grocery items used anytime and grocery items best after day 10. You're going to get emails daily from me teaching you the program as we've already discussed and went over. Those videos will also, based upon the day that you're in, like if you're in day 11, you'll have 11 days worth of videos. On your day 30, you'll have 30 days worth of videos. These videos will be in your video section and in the email that you're getting. So if you prefer it coming to you, great. If you prefer to log in the website, great, it's here. As we work, rework this website, there are some downloadable files. There's your one week journal page. We do not yet have a journal for our free members, an online journal. That is for our Shibboleth members who have supported us through the years. So we do want you to log your foods. Therefore, we're giving you an example one week journal page where you can write down everything you're eating. And you will need to bring this with you to class so that we can discuss what you're eating. Um, it, won't be a, uh, it won't be because I'm being mean. It won't be because I'm being mean. But when someone at, tells me that the program's not working for them, the first thing I'm going to ask is to see their journal. Often people say, I'm not lying. I know what I ate. I don't need a journal. Uh, I beg to differ. If, if you're not writing it down, if, you don't if you're not writing everything down, there are sneaky calories getting in there. So I need you to journal. You can do anything for 30 days, even if you don't believe in everything I'm saying. 
What is 30 more days of your life to do it the way I ask? Has anybody ever seen Days of Thunder? Has anybody ever seen the Days of Thunder movie with Tom Cruise and Robert Duvall, race car driver, and Cole Trickle? He wanted to run that car, run the tires right off of it. And eventually Robert Duvall said, let's do this, Cole. You run it the way you want to run the car. And then when you get done, let's do it my way and let's see which one works better. And much to Cole Trickle's surprise, the way Robert Duvall told him to do it allowed him to run a better race. If you'll do it, even if you don't believe for a while, if you'll do it the way I tell you to do it, your life will change. Then you've got your grocery list, a uh, printable, downloadable file. Text alerts, the Facebook group, how to find it and get in the Facebook group. And then we are adding more virtual worksheets where you could print them, but you can also do them here. Next week, we'll begin to discuss how to fill out your vision board online, how to use your monthly street calendar online, how to use other virtual worksheets and save them in this system as we're going through this 30 day protocol. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to look at a grocery list. I'm going to stop and I'm going to try to explain what we're going to be doing for 30 days. Now, now stay with me here. Watch, watch this. When I started, the reason I was so successful was because I said, I'm going to treat this. I lost 44 pounds in six weeks. I said to myself, I'm going to treat this as if I'm a baby. And I can't put anything in my mouth until I know how it breaks down in my body. I'm going to ask you to do that same thing for 30 days. You don't put it in you without my permission. And we're going to make sure that as we get started here, that you've got my permission to eat some foods that you like. Okay, but you won't get the, the full, you will not get the full library at this time of foods that you are allowed because I don't want you just to have a meal plan and eat these foods because I tell you to. I want to explain to you over a 30 day period why these foods are going to work for you so that when you hit those dark days where the scales aren't moving, you understand food chemistry. Okay, in a fun way. I'm going to make it a lot of fun. We won't have to recover all this ground that we just covered that got us to this point. When I started, the first thing I ate, and I didn't eat anything else until I understood how it broke down in my body, the first thing was a peanut butter sandwich. See, I was eating my peanut butter sandwiches. I was taking two tablespoons of peanut butter. Peanut butter is mostly fat. I was taking that fat and I was putting it on white bread. The whiter the bread, the quicker you're dead. White bread, two slices of white bread break down and are equivalent to like 18 teaspoons of sugar. Travis, there's no sugar on a nutrition label in white bread. I know it's all starch and it metabolizes like sugar. So I put white bread there. So the white bread caused an insulin response and the peanut butter was fat and the insulin grabs the fat and shuttles it into my fat cells. So do I have to give up my peanut butter sandwich? No, I created formulas that are proprietary to myself and Shibola. I created formulas that have enough protein and fiber whereby I can then also have something that causes insulin production, but yet neutralize it and still lose weight. So I took my peanut butter, that fat, and I put it on back then. They don't make it anymore. We have a hundred other approved breads. I put it on double fiber wheat bread that tastes like bread, but had enough protein and fiber in it that it neutralized insulin. So when I ate my peanut butter sandwich while in a calorie deficit, 
I didn't store fat, I burned more fat. So I went from eating, ding, 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 ding. I've been going a while and I can wear on people, so this is a good point. This is how you have a really awesome lifestyle change. Every food that is available to you on Shibola. When I started, I was eating peanut butter sandwich. It tastes like a peanut butter sandwich, but it was causing me to gain fat. You see what I'm saying? It was causing me to gain fat. When I change to a different bread, my peanut butter sandwich still tastes like a peanut butter sandwich, but now I'm losing fat. So when we have a lifestyle where we get to eat the same things, I'm still getting a burger, I'm still getting a sandwich, I'm still getting spaghetti, et cetera. I'm still getting ice cream. It tastes the same, but now I'm losing fat instead of gaining fat. Why wouldn't we make the switch? Why wouldn't we make that swap? So we're going to do that with every food over the next 30 days. Make sense so far? So let me, bear with me while I pull up. Let me see how far Sasha's got, gotten here. Okay. So there's a worksheet in those resources that looks like, this okay you can just take out a sheet of paper if you don't have time to print this off and sasha is going to work hard to make this a digital worksheet for our free members our our shibboleth members already have this in a digital form so when you're looking at this we're going to look at the food list in a minute and we're going to focus only on the foods that you like not on the foods that you don't like. Monday, you're going to eat from this very condensed list of meal ideas until you learn more. And then every day, I pray to God that you're learning more so that you can have more variety. In the beginning, the less variety, the more focused that we can be but we will need to expand that variety over a 30-day period to make for a quality lifestyle. But you've got to start life over like you're a new creature in Christ Jesus. And all of your former eating behaviors and philosophies, they're gone. We're new. We're only going to put in our sacred temple that that we understand and we know how it's going to break down and it's not going to hurt us. So... As we look at these foods, don't focus on the foods you don't like on this short list. Focus on the foods that you do like and write these ingredients down. And let's make sure everybody that leaves here today walks away from Monday with at least three breakfast ideas, three lunch ideas, three dinner ideas from the list. Does that make sense so far, everyone? Okay, so here is our food list. Now, we, Shibboleth, our wonderful planet Shibboleth has thousands and thousands of foods that are allowed. But we can't start with that. That's overwhelming. We're starting with a very condensed list. Over the 30 days, you're going to understand clearly why I categorize food. And you're going to clearly understand how to combine these foods. But today, we're focusing only on category one lean protein. Category two, fibrous carb. Category two, breads. Category four, protein plus fat. Category six, superfoods. Category seven, shellfish. Approved beverages, sweeteners, cooking oils. Approved condiments. Can't have it all from day one. So let's go, let's don't worry about how it breaks down right now. Let's pick out foods 
that you like. And let's see you write them down. So let me pull up my worksheet. Bear with me for just a second. Thank you for your patience. I didn't know how much Sasha's been working so hard. I didn't know how much she was going to get done with. So I'm just kind of getting a glance at it too. For our members, let me show you this. For our members, our current members, you can go to resources and you can go to worksheets. This is not for our non-members. You'll have to find, we don't want to devalue our current members who've been with us for so long and paid a fee to be here. So here's worksheets, and then I'm going to pull up grocery list meal plans. Y'all have this, uh, non-members, you have this in a downloadable format. I'm going to create a worksheet, title, 30-day community challenge is what I'm going to call it. And then we're going to come up with these foods. So, going back to the list, I've got the chat up. I've got the chat up. Let's look at category one. Chicken breast, pork tenderloin, turkey breast, fish, 96% lean ground meat, boar's head chicken, boar's head turkey breast, boar's head deli ham, boar's head London broil, bone broth, canned tuna, Deli meats, Hebrew National, 97% fat-free Franks. I think I said fish, didn't I? And fish. Does everybody see one or two items in that list that they like? Okay, please write those down as part of your grocery list. Please write those down as part of your grocery list. Next, category one, milk and dairy. Uh, Alice, I see, I'm not seeing everybody's comments because of the speed of things going in front of me, but I do see yours. Would venison work? You can add venison. Category one, milk and dairy. Fat-free cottage cheese, fat-free cream cheese, fat-free shredded cheese, Cheese that's fat free in general. Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt, egg whites, fat free shredded che cheese, lifetime fat free. Now, we will teach you later how to have full fat cheese, but not yet. This is the beginning of a new lifestyle. Fairlife fat free, Kroger Car Master Meal, Greek Plain yogurt, etc. Yogurt, triple zero yogurt. Do you see a couple of items there? Yes, Angela, you will find plenty of lactose-free uh, products as we move forward. Right now, I need you to focus on this list, and you may have to avoid dairy. We all actually should avoid dairy, even the approved dairy, but we're putting just a sampling on here to get people started. Does everybody see a couple of items that they like there? Any flavor of triple zero, uh, tri triple zero yogurt is allowed. So everybody's, y'all writing some of these down. We're going to come up with a meal plan. It's so easy to lose weight, y'all. It's e Everybody say, it's easy and it's fun. It is, y'all. It's so easy and so fun. Dawn says Kroger Car Master Milk is lactose free. No milk, no milk sugar there. Category lactose, y'all, that's, that's milk sugar, okay? Category two, vegetables, fibrous carbs, any leafy green veggie, any leafy green, all allowed. These are exercise on a plate. Randy, no, that wouldn't be correct. So Randy asked, can we have Greek yogurt that's zero fat? Not all zero fat yogurts are going to work because some are going to be very high in sugar. So for now, only triple zero yogurt or Greek plain yogurt. 
just for now. Some of you, if you decide to become a partner of our ministry, you're going to have access to thousands and thousands of food. But right now, let's focus on this short list. Any leafy greens, asparagus, bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels, cabbage, cauliflower, celery, cucumbers, green beans, hot peppers, mushrooms, okra, squash, sweet peppers. Uh, when we say cucumbers, we do mean dill pickles as well. Does everybody see a few category two veggies that they don't mind putting on their list? Sauerkraut, yeah, we'll class that as a leafy green. It's cabbage, fermented cabbage. Okay, everybody's got a few there. Then breads. Now, we don't want anybody to eat bread, really, but we've made this program practical and sustainable, and we've chosen a few breads for you or tortillas that allow us to have a hamburger or a hot dog. You've got fit and active 40 calorie wheat bread, La Banderita carb counter tortilla, La Tortilla factory high fiber tortilla, healthy life breads, mission carb balance, Olay extreme wellness, high fiber carb wrap, high fiber low carb wrap, Sara Lee delightful 45 calorie healthy multigrain, Sara Lee delightful 45 calorie honey whole wheat bread, Sara Lee Delightful 80 calorie hot dog buns and Thomas Light 100 calorie muffins. Does everybody see a bread or two that they like? Write that down if you do. Everybody see a couple of breads? If you're going to eat bread, if you're going to be eating sandwiches or hot dogs or hamburgers, this is what we're starting with. Category four, protein plus fat. Here we're talking about 93 to 95% lean ground meat. Paula, I'm not going to know the answer to that question without, see, my challenge here is I don't know who is a partner of Shibola versus a free member. So if you have Santa Fe wraps in your library as a partner, because that's a huge library. We're just trying to, we're starting people over today. If you're wanting to start over fresh, that would not be allowed at this time. It would only be temporarily your category two breads. Category four, protein plus fat, 93 to 95% lean ground meat, Cabot light. And I like what, uh, thank you, Angela Lefwich says I'm starting over. I wish everybody that's going to do the community program would start over and be on the same page. And I know some of your favorite goodies aren't on this list, but that's by design. 93 to 95% lean ground meat, Cabot light cheese, Canadian bacon, chicken thighs, chicken wings, dark meat, chicken, dark meat, turkey, Hormel turkey, pepperoni, pork chops, pork ribs, rotisserie chicken, breast without the skin, Sargento reduced fat cheese, steak of any type, tuna, whole eggs. Now, when we're talking about meat, we're not talking about breaded meats at this time. Category six, superfoods. All nuts and seeds are allowed. Almonds, avocado, black beans, fat-free refried beans, garbanzo beans and chickpeas, hemp hearts, hemp seeds, hummus, kidney beans, peanut butter, pinto beans, and pistachios. Category seven, shellfish, clams, crab legs, lobster, mussels, oysters, scallops, shellfish, shrimp. Any of these you like, Let's put them on your grocery list. Approved beverages. We're not endorsing Diet Cokes. We're letting people have them if they need them. 
zero calorie unsweet tea, zero to five calorie beverages, Advocare Spark, Celsius, Celsius on the go packets, Chick-fil-A diet lemonade, coffee, no sugar, no cream yet. If you're gonna, if you already, if you're a member of Shibola for a long time, you already know how to have your coffee. Diet Coke, Diet Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, Diet Soda, Four Sigmatic Coffee, Ocean Spray Diet Cranberry Juice, Sprite Zero, and Water. Approved sweeteners to begin with. We want to stick to zero calorie sweeteners. Monk Fruit, Amica, Liquid Stevia, Splenda Stevia, or Xylitol Sugar uh, Substitute. Dawn, Stevia in the Raw is excellent. You can go on and add that to your list. Approved cooking oils at home. We want to cook in zero drag, 100% MCT oil or 100% MCT oil in general. Beef bouillon, chicken bouillon, coconut oil, fat-free broth of any type, clarified butter, ghee butter, also known as ghee, or zero calorie cooking sprays. Approved condiments. Anything that's zero calorie, but also you can add A1 steak sauce, a Z, any zero calorie barbecue sauce, Brummel and brown butter, Heinz tomato ketchup, Hellman's light mayonnaise, log cabin sugar free syrup, mustard, olive salsa, and soy sauce. Sasha is working hard to also add a meal replacement category. So those of you that are already members and you know what I mean by a minus, uh, minus weight loss meter meal replacement, those are going to be the ones you want to stick with for the, first, for the first 30 days. Again, you'll be getting an email daily with a short lesson, and you'll have many opportunities per week in a smaller group than this to come and ask questions and expand on your knowledge. Thank you, Don. I look forward to seeing you later. God bless. Okay. So everybody's built them a little bit of a grocery list. Now, those of you that are completely new to Shibboleth, you're completely new to what we do. Here's where you pay attention because we've got some great members here that they're going to understand how to combine. So we're going to be coming up with some meal ideas. Okay. So help me out. From your grocery list, if we were coming up with some breakfast ideas that help us burn fat as long as we control the portion, what would be some good breakfast ideas that we could have here, everyone? Let's come up with some uh, good uh, sherry, egg white and veggie omelet. So an egg white, veggie omelet, beautiful. An egg white and veggie omelet. So that would look like egg whites, maybe in Pam cooking spray or in MCT oil with any of those category two vegetables. You could also, if you aren't opposed to cheese, add a little fat-free cheese. And as long as we control our portion, we've got a great fat-burning meal. Somebody says triple zero yogurt and a slice of toast. I'd rather you just have the triple zero yogurt but you could also have the toast as an option if you need it, only one slice of category two bread. Now, if you use any bread, I will have people here that don't understand food combining yet, and they'll think, oh, the calories are the same. So I'm just gonna use white bread. No, you're going to spike your blood sugar, and that's what's been holding you back all these years. It must be a category two bread. 
other options. Several good omelet ideas, spinach and egg whites. A 100 calorie Thomas Light muffin. So I'm going to put Thomas Light muffin. Thomas Light muffin with a whole egg and fat free cheese. So you got kind of like a, a mock McMuffin there. Good. Egg whites with 40 calorie toast and mushrooms. Karen would be ideal. Egg white and a tortilla is ideal. Approved French toast. Um, Kay, you already have access to the full recipe library. Some of these folks wouldn't know how to make French toast approved yet. But if you do know how to make it Shibola style with the right combination, you could. Peanut butter. April says two tablespoons of peanut butter. In an approved category two tortilla. I like the La Tortilla factory tortillas. Can you water saute it even better? Anytime we cook in water, if people are not opposed to that, that's the best thing you can do. So you can saute in water and season with any zero calorie spice or season. Over the next weeks, you're going to hear me say this a lot. You know how God, God our Father, has the ability to remember a thing no more? I need us all to not remember our old lifestyle and just play pretend. Let's pretend like we don't know what to put in this body. And like if we put the wrong thing in our body, that would be the end of the body. I want you to take this so serious that you only eat things that we've all endorsed here or you have my permission until we expand on your knowledge. Peanut butter on an English muffin with egg whites. Interesting, but that would work. Fat-free cottage cheese and cucumbers. Good job. Fat-free cottage cheese. Control the portion of it, please, with some sliced cucumbers. Good job. Canadian bacon, my mom, my mom's on here. Yay, mama. My mama's Gail, y'all. Don't mess with Gail. Whew. Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Fat-free cheese. Egg white. And category two bread. So let's say that she had a Thomas Light muffin, an egg white, fat free cheese, and a slice of Canadian bacon. That's a beautiful fat burning meal, assuming you use the right ingredients. Jennifer asked, What about a whole whole omelet? What you're gonna learn is that works great. We can have a whole whole egg. We can have a let's say a two egg, gotta control that portion. Two egg omelet. with veggies, category two veggies. We'll get into category three carbs and fruit later. Ding, 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 teaching moment, teaching moment. This is, these are all good weight loss meals if we control the portion. And using the right ingredients, we will control insulin. Does everybody hear that that's still with me? I know we've been going a while. Are y'all y'all heard what I just said? That's good weight loss. If you want faster weight loss, that's up to you. If you want faster weight loss, you got to drop the bread. Everybody likes the bread options. Now, before we go to lunch ideas, because remember, every day you're going to learn more over 30 days. By the what about this? Will y'all relax? 
if I promise you by the end of 30 days that you've got over 100 meal ideas that you love, Okay, so let's slow down and let's look at this list. And don't, don't be afraid to speak up. We want everybody to leave with a Monday meal plan. Does everybody here see a couple of options that they could do on week one for breakfast? Now, Brenda, Brenda, now watch y'all. Let me do a little coaching with Brenda. Brenda's got a, a, an emoji that's crying, and she says, but I love my bread. I want y'all to be careful and listen to what I said. Did I say you couldn't have bread? So there's no crying. There's no crying. You can have bread. But what I'm doing is telling you, based upon your situation and your expectations, how to lose weight healthfully but faster. Now watch. If we all are in North Georgia and we all load up and decide to go to Panama City, and let's say Julie Marandino's loading up one bus and I'm loading up the other one. If I take off and I don't stop and take any pee breaks and I drive 75 miles an hour, I'm going to get there faster than Julie if her bus is taking a lot of pee breaks and she's driving 55 miles an hour. But is she going to get to Panama City too? Yes. <laughs> so it's about enjoying the journey too, okay? Now, I need to know, is there anybody here that sees nothing that they can have for breakfast for the first week. I'll go in and write down oatmeal. Boy, y'all like that bread. <laughs> oatmeal. Wait a minute. Oatmeal's not on the list. Wait, you tried to trick me. We hadn't got to category three. No oatmeal. No oatmeal. You almost got me, wise guy. No oatmeal yet. Not yet. Oatmeal's approved, but not yet. Don't. Cottage cheese and a half of an avocado. That's a category one with a category six, and that happens to work. If you want that, you can go in and write that one down. No, if you're a member, you don't lose any of your badges. You don't lose any badges. We consider you a partner now if you're a member. Hang tight. Y'all are all wanting a lot of stuff, and you don't need a lot of stuff yet. I'm asking again, is there anybody that – I don't want you to go away going, I don't know what to do. Is there anybody that you've not found anything that you can eat for breakfast for the first week? Alice, that's normally allowed, you know, on regular Shibboleth, but not, not for this first week. No, you're talking about we want to avoid until we teach. We want to avoid complex carbs and fruit for a few days. And then when you start getting these lessons and start understanding a little more, then you can start adding them to your meal plan. Can I have chicken breast for breakfast? Chicken breast is on this list that we went over today. So yeah, you could have chicken breast for breakfast if you wanted that. Samantha, meal replacement shake. I am post COVID. Samantha, let me ask you and you can answer in this thread. Do you understand yet what an approved shake is? Or are you talking about, because I don't know what your understanding of the current program is. If it's a Shibboleth approved shake, what that means is that you are controlling insulin with the macronutrient profile of that shake. Samantha, yes, that would be fine. I've seen your, what you said, AdvoCare shake is great. 
Manette, make sure that your shake is approved. Get in the Facebook group. Get in that support group. And if y'all have things that you, you absolutely feel you must need or you'll die, we'll take a look at it for your first week. But I wished you'd wait. I wished everybody would pretend that they're on an island. I knew this was going to be difficult. I wish everyone would pretend they're on an island. And the only thing on that island for a week is this grocery list. Let me digress for a minute. Can y'all see part of the challenge that you're all up against? How hard it is, even with a hundred different grocery items on that list, it's still hard for you to choose items that you like without going outside the list. See, we have such a relationship with food. It's like our best friend, isn't it? Yeah, you can have an approved shake, Manette. You, you're okay with that. Yeah, we didn't add that yet, Judy. I hope y'all all consider committing with just this list. Now, again, let me let me reel this back. Here's here, ding, ding, ding. This is a challenge. We've got free members, and we've got our great Shaboaf members who some of you guys are very experienced. Okay. So our Shaboaf members have to make a decision. Do you want to stay with what you've been learning? Because you're doing great. You wouldn't need this. You already know, right? If a Shibboleth member is wanting to start with day one, you need to forget some stuff you know and start with the free group and eat what they're eating. I get that you are aware of so much more variety because y'all are naming it, and it makes me feel good because it's like, wow, they really know the, know the program. So you don't have to do this. This is more a place for you to send your friends and family. Now, if you're a member and you're like, I've lost my way, I really need to start over, then you need to yield to these rules and this protocol. Does that make sense, everyone? It's, this is going to be the decision that our members have to make. Do I want to forget some things I know and start over with this free group, this new group? Or do I want to keep going on my Shibboleth journey and just keep praying for and supporting Shibboleth and sending friend and friends and family members to Travis so he can help them? And maybe they too one day will become a Shibboleth partner. That's kind of the decision you've got to make. Because y'all know a lot. And we don't want to, our new members, we want, we want them over 30 days. We want their variety to start like this and then to do this, just blossom, right? Okay, so I think everybody's got some breakfast ideas. If you don't, if, you don't, if you're like, I just don't know what to eat, you got a Facebook support group and you're going to have my live meetings, okay? All right. So now I'm going to erase breakfast. Is everybody ready for me to erase that? I just hope y'all like my lessons Monday. I hope y'all like my lessons. Y'all going to want more, right? But at the same time, everybody wants me to keep them to five minutes or less. So I'm doing my lessons five minutes or less. Sometimes I might go a little over, but not much. Okay. So here we go. Now we're going to come up with some lunch ideas. No grazing. Let me hear y'all all say it. For 30 days, other than your holidays, you get six holidays. You still get six holidays your first 30 days. No grazing. Grazing is not good on a perfect day. We don't graze. Lunch ideas. This is easier. Let's do lunch and dinner so we can speed this up. Lunch and dinner ideas. What are lunch and dinner ideas? 
Don is asking, can I mix fat-free cottage cheese with tuna with maybe a little onion, approved mayo, and seasonings? Beautiful. Cottage cheese is a category one. Tuna is a category one. Onions are a condiment if you use them sparingly. Approved mayo and seasoning. Beautiful fat-burning meal, Don. Great job. Dawn is a, knows the program, but is also reeling herself back and only choosing groceries from the list. Great job. Paula, awesome to hear. I will commit to 30 days. Yay. You got this. I know you do. I know you do. All right. Steak and broccoli. Now, let me stop here. Steak and broccoli is a beautiful one. But here's part of your challenge, right? Portion control plate or the two-hand rule. We don't want that steak doing hanging off plate like this. Okay? Everybody went by, Mama. Steak don't need to hang. It don't know. No, no. It needs to fit on the plate. Most ladies, that's two to six ounces. Most men, two to eight ounces. Chicken and green beans. Chicken and green beans, beautiful. Boar's head chicken wrapped in leaf, uh, like a, it says wrapped in leaf lettuce. Now, Brenda, that's creative. Great job. You're using... Um, Green leafies, uh, probably romaine lettuce leaves or something as your bread. That's great. So chicken and lettuce. Good. 96% uh, lean, lean ground beef. Lean ground beef with green beans. Great job. Great job. Uh, Julie's asking about bio coffee. That's not on the list. Um, Julie, as long as you don't mind using it for now, for now, as long as you don't mind using it as a meal episode, it's okay. We'll get into that later. Boar's head, like how I would do that, Julie, I would have bio coffee for my, my breakfast episode. You're going to get a little blood sugar impact, but that will abate some by evening, and then you could have two regular eating episodes for lunch or dinner. Boar's head turkey. Turkey breast. With cucumber. When you start adding that third ingredient in the beginning, like you're saying boar's head turkey, cucumber, and fat-free cottage cheese, you got two protein sources in there that you don't really need, and you're adding extra calories. So if you want to do that, turkey breast, fat-free cottage cheese, and cucumbers, that's going to be fine, but just really control your portion. Karen, I can't tell you that. It depends on how the lessons unfold, okay? So you should be able to stick with this meal plan if you had to forever, but you won't. Every few days, you're going to learn some more. You're going to get a little video that says more meal ideas, okay? But I need to teach on why you need to combine protein and fiber with complex carbohydrate and fruit the right way. And then that's going to open up a plethora of other meal ideas. Now, if you want to bypass all of this, then you could go into the regular Shibola program with our partners, and then, of course, you get all the ideas you want. You won't have to wait 30 days to go through the program. You can go through Fast Track within a day and know everything, not everything I'm going to teach in 30 days, but a lot of what I'm going to teach. i got to leave this up to y'all. You know where you're at in your journey with weight loss and wellness. We're starting over with just this list.
baked fish and cucumber. Baked fish and see, I don't know about avocado avocado salad. Again, I can't keep up who's a member and who's not. There, y'all, there's thousands of recipes in the library that many of you have grown accustomed to utilizing. We're not there yet. This is the free group. We're starting over with just this list. So I'm not sure about your avocado salad. Um, you'd have to, in the Facebook group, I would need to see that ingredient list or where that recipe is coming from. And then we can make that decision together. Because that's the challenge. There's nothing you can't have, but most recipes are going to spike your blood sugar. So we have to modify the recipe. Uh, approved tortilla with chicken breast would work. It's like a chicken sandwich on a tortilla. Approved mayo. No breaded, no breaded meats for a while. Can you mix a category seven and a category one without a two? You can, that is allowed. A salad with ham, boar's head ham. What kind of dressing would you put? Boar's head ham with leafy greens. Chicken with fat-free cheese on a wrap, that would be allowed. 97, Paula, great one. 97% National Hebrew hot dog with sauerkraut, some kraut and weenies. That's all on the list. Make sure you portion control it. You could have up to two francs with kraut. Boar's head turkey with sliced cucumbers and fat-free cottage cheese, great. Janice, shrimp and green beans, beautiful. Karen, chicken, broccoli, sauteed and MCT oil, that is exercise on a plate. Uh, steak is a category four, shrimp is a category seven. That's a great carnivore meal. If you control your portion, Dawn, Steak and shrimp fit on your portion plate or under the two-hand rule. You're good to go on that. Large mixed green salad with shrimp in it. MCT oil, vinegar, and good seasoned dressing mix. Perfect. Julie, eat half a portion of turkey and half a portion of cottage cheese. Perfect. I think Sasha might have told you wrong there, Don. She's rapid fire too. Sasha, you may have forgot. The yellow column has category four by itself and we can always have a seven by itself. So technically she could do that. Jennifer, hot dog approved. And Sarah Lee, delightful 80 calorie hot dog bun, good. When we're having a hot dog with bread, we can have one hot dog, healthy life hot dog bun with one franc. And then if we need more, we could have an extra franc, but not an extra hot dog bun. If you have two buns, healthy life hamburger buns or healthy life hot dog buns, it's going to be too much insulin impact. Relish is an approved condiment. Fish and squash are perfect. That's exercise on a plate if you cook it in MCT and season it properly. Pork tenderloin and asparagus is exercise on a plate. That's great. Fat-free ballpark franks uh, are still good. Hebrew National 97% lean are better, but fat-free ballpark turkey franks are fine.
Yeah. Michelle's asking, if I don't eat beef franks, are there a turkey frank? Yes, ballpark fat-free turkey franks are allowed. Karen, if you want to go ahead, it's not on the list, but if you want to go on and have Kroger Carbmaster yogurt, because I'm losing this war here, you can have that. That's the same, basically the same as triple zero yogurt. Never more than one hot dog bun at a time, but you could have up to two francs. Don't push the envelope. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. But if you eat a, a healthy life bun with your frank, ketchup and mustard, condiment, and you're still hungry, you could have one more frank. Turkey approved turkey sausage with peppers, onion, and squash stir fry over cauliflower rice. Perfect. What salad dressings are approved? Zero calorie salad dressings are almost zero calorie like Walden Farms calorie free. But there are a few others, a uh, lot like Italian, and then there are some homemade ones that we'll try, since uh, you want, you're you asking that question, um, we'll try beyond Walden Farm calorie-free dressings to add you a few more salad dressing recipes on your grocery list before Monday. Oh, Sasha. Sasha's asking, what did she say wrong? You told Dawn you actually benefited her, but it's a little, little wrong. Um, she asked about steak and, what was it, steak and shrimp together, and you said she must have a Category 2 with it. While she could, she doesn't have to. Uh, one of the yellow column combinations is a Category 4 by itself, and you can also have a 7 by itself. So putting those two on a portion control plate would be allowed without a Category 2. Tuna fish salad with relish and light mayo, perfect. Tracy asked, is it best to focus on the categories one and two during the challenge? Initially, yes. Ones and twos and fours and twos are gonna be your best step forward to start having amazing success from the beginning. How many slices of Canadian bacon can you have since this is a weight loss program? I would suggest one, unless it's only your only protein source on the plate and you're having category twos with it, then you could have up to 120 calories of Canadian bacon. Sasha says, I thought we were going back to the old days. Uh, we knew when we jumped off this ledge with very experienced members and brand new members that this was going to be a great fact-finding session. I think I'm losing the war a little bit and getting people to start completely over. Uh, but we'll, in the coming days, I think we'll have more clarity. I just want everybody today to leave personally, personally to leave with three or four breakfast ideas, three or four lunch ideas, three or four dinner ideas that have been properly vetted and approved so that they have a great start on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Almost all tuna pouches are allowed, those little tuna in the package that are seasoned. I haven't seen any that are not allowed. We would call that Paula a category one. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, is there anyone, before I finish up this lesson, the lessons come Monday. We're just coming up with meal ideas. Is there anyone that doesn't know what to eat on Monday, that wants to start on Monday? It's okay if you don't. It's all right. This is all new.
why do you have tuna on four? Is it not fish? It shouldn't be on four. I haven't looked. Sasha's been in a rush. It should be a category one unless it's in oil. If it's in oil, it would be a category four. If it's packed in water, it would be a category one. Sasha says it was with the oil. So she is right. Yes, I will scoot over. Remember, if we infuse a, a lean meat with any oil beside MCT oil, ghee butter, or coconut oil, then it becomes a category four. All right. So I'm going to erase this. Can I erase this now? And let's finish up five more minutes. You can cook and saute with ghee. That is acceptable. You will lose more weight if you saute with 100% MCT oil. Profoundly different results. But you can. Teresa, we will add, if Sasha is still with me, when we add your meal replacement category, we will add Quest Protein Bar for you, okay? Can you have tuna and eggs? Tuna is a category one. Eggs is a category four. You could have that together, assuming you control your portion. Can you have fat-free coffee creamer? 15 calories per coffee? Yes. Anyone else? Okay. I'm erasing this. What kind of day is it in your journal? What kind of day is it if I lick the cheese dust off a of Dorito? What kind of day is it if I eat at the buffet until they kick me out. This is how the whole system works. If this breaks down on you, you're going to be one of those saying, it didn't work for me. It's because you didn't do it right. Biologically, it must work for everybody. Now, our perfect days, starting Monday. How many meals can we have in one day with no grazing? Three, Bible says everything we do, whether we eat or whether we drink, do it all unto the Lord. Breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, dinner for the Holy Spirit. I, everybody repeat with me, I am loving awareness. I love everything and everyone I'm aware of. I love myself, I love my body, I love my mind. So I can have up to three meals, three eating episodes, no grazing. We'll talk snacks and freebies in our 30-day lessons. We're starting with three. Can I have two meals instead of three? Can I have two meals instead of three? Yes. Can I have one meal instead of three? Occasionally. Yes, I'm fasting unto Jesus. You can do that. But you can have up to three. Our portion control. Please write this down. We're going to use a six to eight inch plate. A six to eight inch plate with our food not piled up high, but neatly on the plate. So if I was having chicken breast and broccoli, chicken breast on one half the plate, broccoli on the other side of the plate. We eat, we stop. And we try to wait four to six hours before having another eating episode. If you don't wait four to six hours, as long as you don't go beyond three meals in a day, you don't have to count that a holiday. You could use the two-hand rule. If at the restaurant, you order some salmon and asparagus. No appetizers, none of that. 
on a perfect day, salmon and asparagus, interlock my thumbs, my hands together. I put it directly over the salmon and asparagus. It's not piled up any thicker than the thickest part of our hand. That's perfect. I like what Brenda says, six to eight inch plate, no mountains. Amen. But as a check, we, we prefer the hand rule or the portion control plate rule. But if you start adding little condiments and this, that, and other, these three eating episodes need to be between zero and 400 calories. Are y'all with me there? Between zero and 400 calories. The sweet spot is 300 to 350 calories per meal episode. So if you're not sure about your portion rule, you better kind of give a, give a look at those calories. I want you to drink, even if you're having other approved beverages, I want you to drink a half a gallon to one gallon of water a day. I want you to control your portions, limit, limit it to three. We've already went over the meal ideas, so we're not going to have to go deeper into combinations today. I'm giving you my heart, my best for 30 days and then beyond to help you keep going. I need you. If you bite it, you ride it. If you're a member, you don't have to use that paper journal. You would need to use your online journal. But for those of you that are not Shibola partners, then print out, either do it on paper or print out that one week page that is in your resources and make sure you journal. As an accountability tool in our Facebook support group, feel free to take a picture of your meal and put it in the group and we can look at it together as a family and make sure you're spot on. There's no judgment here. If you make a mistake, you're not in trouble. We don't expect you to even hit your stride with this lifestyle until you have been immersed in our culture here at Shibola for 30 days. Zero calorie sparkling water or negligible calories like five or less would be fine. Tracy says, I'm being transparent. How do I get through cravings? So a lot of our cravings are not physical cravings. They're mental cravings. This is why we have to begin Monday developing a why. Number one, physiologically, as we get your blood sugar under control, we'll be getting insulin under control. And when we get insulin under control, you won't have the same amount or depth of physiological cravings. Then what you'll be dealing with is years of bad habits and compulsions. We will be putting in all of our 30-day lessons behavior modification techniques. Glad you brought that up. We'll all help you. We're going to do this together. Friends helping friends. I know I missed a lot of stuff. I apologize. It's been great to see so much activity. I know I missed a lot on Facebook because I was so focused on Zoom. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Thank you. If you do your best, I will not let you down. I just need you to be reasonable and to do your best. And try your best to exhibit the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, gentle, patience, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faith. What's the last fruit of the Spirit? Does anybody know? Self-control, temperance. Good job, Manette. Uh, to send new people, they will not be able to go to MyShibola.com unless they want to be a partner. Um, for new members, they can go to www.ShibolaLifestyle.com, ShibolaLifestyle.com, and that's how they can participate in this 30-day community challenge. 
Look, I look forward to sending the lessons out. I look forward to engaging with you all on Facebook. Uh, our great Shibboleth members, you can definitely go through this course with all of our new members. But as well, you still have access. We're not taking anything away from our members and partners. Okay, you still have all those resources and new ones coming actually uh, as we begin to perfect this Shibboleth Lifestyle website for community members. I'd be careful with coconut water. It's high in sugar, Nicole. That's really not a good idea when you're trying to lose weight. You'll have runaway insulin levels. Coconut water has many benefits, especially for folks that are lean and not trying to lose weight uh, from an electrolyte standpoint. Most coconut water is not good for you if your goal is to lose weight. The uh, BAI, I don't know how, you, how they want that pronounced, but it's that coconut water works. If it's negligible calories, five or less, go for it. But the high sugar coconut waters, not good for the weight loss phase of your transformation. Thank you, Gina. I'm excited too. We really, we really love helping people. Anyone else? Lisa, we will be working hard on that. I have put my team up against the wall. Uh, maybe the Lord wanted me to jump off the ledge and grow wings and not, not prepare like we should uh, because the Lord knew that I would back out if I had too much time to think about the financial consequences. <laughs> so uh, we jumped out here and the, the team is hard at work to make improvements now on a daily basis so that we can offer this free to the community. So thank you for bearing with us. Greta's asking, will this 30 day plan be good if we have 20 pounds to lose? Yes. That's right, Nicole. And it's not even failing. You won't be failing. Uh, the Bible says the righteous fall down, what, seven times? I might not be quoting that right, but uh, what makes us righteous is not not falling. It's falling and getting up. It's only the wicked that fall and don't get back up. So you're, you're doing awesome. It won't be failing. It'll just be a little slip up. All right, y'all. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I know that we've created a lot of work for Sasha and Sergey, and uh, I look forward to you all receiving our first lessons on Monday. Please check your spam folders. I have no control over where our emails go uh, due to being blacklisted uh, on a lot of servers because of our fat loss message and Christ-centered message. So please check your spam on Monday, and also I'll post uh, the lessons on the website and post the lessons in the group. So regardless of how you want to receive the, met, the, the uh, lessons, you'll have access to them. Thanks y'all. I'll talk to you again real soon. God bless you all. Thank you, Darcy. Darcy, I seen earlier a post you made. Thank you, that was very sweet. It was very touching. Thanks, Javier. Thank you, everybody. God bless.